listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Friday, February 16th, 2023. Today is also the first Friday of Lent after Ash Wednesday, the third day of Lent. We are continuing on with our Lenten program here on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, where we talk about 40 martyrs for the 40 days of Lent. Today, we are traveling to the Congo to hear about a saint called the Little Flower of Africa, Saint Anuarite. But before we get there, please pray with me the Saint Peter in Chains prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. O God, who caused Saint Peter the Apostle to depart, loosed from his chains and unhurt, Loose, we beg you, the chains of our sins, and graciously keep all evils far from us. Bless us this Lent, and give us the faith of the martyrs. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So as promised, we are going to the Congo, and we are actually going to the 1900s as well. St. Anuari lived between 1939 and 1964. She, just like the two other martyrs we have talked about this week, St. Agnes and St. Andrew Dunlock, was not born Christian. She was born the daughter, the sixth daughter of a poor farmer in the Congo. Now, since her parents were pagan, they had no understanding about marriage and faithfulness. So when she was born, her father was very frustrated that she was not a boy. And so he sent her mother away. He just kicked her out, got a new wife in the hopes of having a son. So St. Anuarite not only grew up in a pagan household, but she grew up without a mother. Now, when she was a young girl, missionaries came to the order, specifically women, nuns. She was very drawn to them, and she was also drawn to our Blessed Mother. She became fascinated with Jesus and passionately in love with him. She asked to be baptized, and she also felt deep within her a calling to give everything to Jesus, to become a nun. However, she knew that her family would not support this. And so, without telling anyone, St. Anuari got onto a truck and headed to a local convent with some other girls. In fact, it took her family a full week of looking for her to finally figure out where she was. But Anuari was able to stay and study to become a nun, and her love of Jesus spread to her family, so much so that two years later, when she took vows as a nun— Her family showed up, asked to be baptized, and even gave the community the gift of two goats to show how happy they were. So this was a beautiful vocation for St. Anuarite, but she lived during a very troubled time. In 1964, rebellion broke out in the Congo. Now, a lot of the religious orders in the Congo had been formed by European missionaries, And so not only were the missionaries attacked, but also the orders themselves, because the rebels thought that they were controlled by forces in Europe. And so one day, rebels loaded up all 46 sisters and trucked them over to their compound. There, they harmed the sisters, and eventually, St. Anuarite was killed. However, as she died... She forgave the man who killed her. Now, years later, after her life was investigated and she was declared a martyr for the faith, St. Anuari was declared a saint in Congo. Pope St. John Paul II traveled there and canonized her there with her parents present. Her parents spoke to St. Pope. Pope St. John Paul II before the ceremony and said that they would like to forgive the man who had killed their daughter. Now, what's interesting is that after St. Anuari died, the man who had killed her was arrested. He was put in jail. 
but after some time he had been pardoned and he had actually converted to Christianity. He felt so terrible about what he had done to this young woman, to this nun, that he actually renounced all of his belongings and was walking around as a beggar at the time of her canonization. But her parents, through Pope St. John Paul II, forgave him, and he actually was able to start a new life because of that. And so, friends, our challenge today, I know that this is the challenge that St. Annuari would want me to offer you, is I want you to investigate who you need to forgive. Please don't let forgiveness or lack of forgiveness be something that hurts or even breaks your relationships. So let's spend some time thinking about who we can forgive and how offering forgiveness is just what Christians do. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Attention podcast listeners, we are gearing up for a Lent long series called The Faith of the Martyrs. Each of the 40 days of Lent, we will be talking about a different martyr's story so that we too might be freed from the chains of sin and death and also have the profound faith of the martyrs. If you would like to follow along, we are offering a beautiful digital download so that you can make your own chain count down the days to Easter and also pray that you might be freed from the chains of sin and death. This PDF is available for only $7. You can find the link to it in the notes for this podcast episode. This is also a really great way to support the Catholic Sprouts podcast. It takes real time and energy to keep this podcast going. It is a true labor of love. But if you chipped in just $7 and used this really fun PDF to follow along during Lent, it would make a real impact around here. We're so grateful. Thank you. And we're looking forward to a holy Lent with you. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.